hello everyone this is Manoj welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video I'll show you how we can set up our ASP.NET core project for our react.js application angular application or any other application so first of all let's open visual studio 2019 I'm using 2019 you can use any version of visual studio so click on visual studio so from here we'll create our new project so create a new project and now from the template we'll select ASP.NET Core Web API because we'll create a web API project so as you can see from here I can select it because I have already created multiple projects so it is showing uh, the direct ASP.NET Core Web API link here or else you can scroll down and search or you can directly search it here from asp.net core so let's select this and click on next now we need to give a project name so let's say asp.net core application and let me give a location now click on next now it is asking for target framework leave it as it is and click on create so now it will create our ASP.NET Core Web API project so as you can see the project has been created and if you see the solution explorer so this is the default files and folder structure of a ASP.NET Core Web API project if you expand the controllers so we'll find a single controller which is weather forecast controller we have startup so let's close all of them now inside the controller right click on it and click on add controller select API and API controller empty now we need to give a controller name so instead of values just give whatever name you want to give for this video I am giving employees controller click on add so our controller has been created perfect so now we need to create a constructor so to create a constructor we have a shortcut just type ctor and then tab so the constructor has been created and we also need to create one object for public read only i configuration for this we need to import one namespace so this using microsoft extension dot configuration and let's give a name configuration and inside our constructor we need to give the same parameter not the exactly same and here we need to reinitialize so configuration is equal to configuration that is first step now go to your app settings.json so here we need to create our connection string I have already created a database if you see this is the SQL server and I have connected locally on this SQL so this is the database name EMP DB and this is one of the tables and if I execute so we have some data so we have three rows all right so we'll try to fetch this data so here we need to give a connection string so this is my connection string employee app con this is the name through this name will fetch our connection string so first property data source another one is initial catalog so this is your SQL server name this is your database name and I have connected if you go back to SQL and if I click on connect so I have connected through Windows authentication so I don't need to give username and password instead I gave I have given integrated security all right and this is your server name this one so let me close this 
so save now go back to your controller let's create a method public json result get employees and let's stick decorate it with a http verb that is http get and also give a route get all employees now using system dot data and we also need to import one more namespace which is SQL client SQL connection so we need to install a package so install package system dot data dot SQL client so it will install our SQL package so con equal new SQL connection so here configuration dot get connection string not dot connection string and inside this we need to give a name the name will come from here so this one paste save SQL data adapter I'm using the inline query select star from employees and data table dt equal new data table and da dot fill dt save now go to solution explorer and create a new folder models and inside this let's create one more class employee and here we need some properties so prop hit tab so it will create your property again prop prop tab string emp name prop string password okay save go to controller EMP employee equal new employee so before creating the object of employee class we need to check if dt dot rows dot count is greater than zero it means it will check if any record is coming from the database end or not so if there is any record then we need to fill a list all right so for entire equal zero I less than dt dot rows dot count and I plus plus so here we will create our employee class and also let's create a list of employee so here change the name employee list so employee dot ID is equal to 
dt dot rows dot index which is i and we need to get the name of the column employee id if you see this employee id employee name password we need to give the exact name convert dot to int because it is in int format so let's copy this paste and now change employee dot emp name and this is a string so convert dot to string and change the name employee name last is password so copy paste and also change the conversion finally employee list dot add employee perfect so save so after this if condition let's check if employee list dot count greater than zero then json convert for that we need to add another namespace so newton soft dot json json convert dot serialize object and here we need to pass our employee list so employee list save let's go to solution explorer and inside this model folder let's create one more class and give it a name response so here we need we need two properties first is status code and another one is error message save go back to controller and import this class here response and in else part response dot status code equal 100 and response dot error message equal to no data found and json convert dot serialize object response return return change this data type to string save now try to build this project so control shift b so that will start a build process build succeeded click on this green button it will start this project So as you can see on your screen, so this localhost colon 44390, this is our base URL. So let's copy this and go to your new tab, paste. So after that, we need to type this API slash and our employees. So API. API employees and get employees so hit enter as you can see we have a list you can say we have an array of three objects one is for Manoj one is for Virat another one is for Rohit Sharma if you go to your SQL server so we have three rows let's quickly add one more entry inside this table so insert into employees 
EMP name password values dk one two three select star from employees so we have four rows go back to browser and refresh it so you see we have another object of employee dk so this is how you can simply create your or you can simply set up your dotnet core project so this is about today's video in my next video i'll show you how we can perform crud operation using dotnet core web api and sql server all right i have an announcement if you are working on your final year college project project or you are doing an in internship and you are facing any kind of difficulties problems in your uh, internship project then i do these kind of paid services so you can contact me on my instagram my instagram handle is open programmer and you can find my other contact details on my channel description so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and please subscribe this channel if you are new to my channel i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye